there's kind of like this two dimensional matrix to think about when you think about insights or KPIs for a business. And you had the maturity of the business on the X axis and the complexity of the metrics that you measure on the Y. And those things are not necessarily always perfectly correlated, but you really got to figure out where you are in your company's maturity before you start going too crazy on complexity. So a good example of that might be if you're a super small company and you're just trying to figure out how your funnel works, you probably don't need a super complex multi-touch attribution model. You're just not ready for it, right? What you might want to start with is just what are the things in our funnel that we want to count, right? Like you start there, what are the key milestones? And then are we instrumented to count those things? Super basic, number of leads, number of meetings, number of opportunities, pipeline, bookings, right? Full stop. If you are not instrumented to measure those things in a funnel, then you can't surpass that in complexity just yet. And so then once you've decided the things you want to count, then you can start to think about, all right, what are my levers inside of that funnel? And that's where you can start to talk about conversion rates and how those might change between those different milestones over time. And then maybe you want to add in some quality metrics, things like average sales price or average sales cycle or win rate, right? That might actually give you a little bit more depth. You know, you start at like those, those level one metrics and now you're going to get level two and level three and start to get a little bit more. And so I think when you have those in place, then you can start to actually have that dashboard conversation that you were talking about. And, you know, it will evolve very quickly to your point where you're going to end up in a world where, okay, everybody wants to slice and dice these things 17 different ways. And I think, good operations teams will get agreement from their stakeholders and internally on these are the things that we absolutely care about. These are the things we're trying to move the needle on this month, this quarter. And then you can reevaluate what those most important KPIs are on a regular basis. But if you're changing them all the time or everyone's moving the goalposts on what important metrics are, you're never going to get to, to your point, the actual insights that are going to help move the business forward. Thank you.